Well, hello, friends. How are you? I've got a wee story to share. It's a wee bit like the little prince. You know, it looks like it's for kids, but actually it's for adults, but kids like it anyway. And this one's for ages 8 to 108 years old. It's about a wee girl called Lola, who goes on many adventures in which she learns about her own emotional intelligence, which leads to dreams. Dreams of making a network of tiny house communities. Oh, oh. <laughs> the purpose of this story is to find people who share the same values and who also want to do something to help realize Lola's dream right here in the real world. And besides, if you want to bring a whole bunch of people together to do something wonderful, well, you need a story. <laughs> Lola represents the inner child, the part of us that's still so curious, so honest, creative, spontaneous, because every child is an artist. The problem is staying an artist when you grow up and keeping the inner child alive. The next step with this wee video, before its full public release, is to invite friends like you to become a part of this story, to record some of Lola's words so that many different people contribute to be the voice of the inner child. So if you appreciate this video, and if your inner child wants to get involved, like when you are little, and you were desperate to say something in front of your class. <laughs> Details on how to participate are at the end. Enjoy. Lola and the Adventures of an Inner Child for ages 8 to 108 years old. Chapter 1 Lola and Her World That's Lola, hanging out with her two-legged and four-legged friends. Among the things she likes to do are dancing, coloring in, eating sushi, and chilling. Above all, Lola is an animal lover, and whenever she saw an animal in a cage, she'd do her best to set it free. And Lola said, Being bored and lonely is no way to live. Be free! At school, she wished she didn't have to spend so much time sitting in a chair and memorizing for so many tests and exams, because she'd rather learn by doing stuff. Lola said, Sometimes, I wish someone would set me free. Lola went to lots of nature protests, where she met lots of amazing people. But she didn't understand why humans would destroy their own home. Ooh, this environmental crisis makes me feel sick, said Lola. Lola had hoped that the politicians would fix the crisis, but seeing how they behaved, it didn't seem likely. They avoid answering good questions and always blaming someone, and it feels like they always wear a mask to hide their own true feelings. All this emotional dishonesty, it just means I can't trust them. I don't want to blame the politicians because when they were little boys and girls society probably taught them to just get on with it and to ignore their own feelings. I don't want to blame them but I'd need to realise that I can't put all of my hope in their hands especially with our environmental and social crisis. I need to do something myself. I just don't know what.
One day, after a cool protest with her cousin, Hello! They decided to celebrate with some sushi. As they twiddled their thumbs waiting for their food, Lola looked at the wrapper of her cousin's chopsticks. It said, Fall down seven times, stand up eight. The courage from this message gave Lola a glowing warmth in her stomach. Then she saw that her chopstick wrapper said, Find your icky guy. The glowing warmth suddenly turned cold. Maybe it's Japanese for dragon, thought Lola. Why don't you look it up, said her cousin. So she did. Certainly didn't look like a dragon. I still don't understand what it means. I guess it's when all the important stuff happens at the same time, said her cousin. Zing! Lola felt like she'd been struck by lightning. She was totally inspired. And when the food finally arrived, she gobbled it all. Delicious. As she lay in bed that night, she asked herself the question, What is my ikigai? She had no answer to this, but it led to another question instead. What do I love to do? She had ever really asked her this before. The thought of answering this question made her body shake. She didn't know where to start. All she knew was that she'd need to be brave to go out and try new things and to follow the good feelings.